Greetings, citizens of the internet. Now, I'm, I'm sure, like most of you in the world, you're under lockdown right now and you don't have a whole lot to do. So, what I've been doing at my spare time anyway is messing about with this netbook. This is a Samsung N145 Plus. It has an Intel Atom processor. It's basically designed for running Windows 7 Starter Edition and, you know, for doing simple tasks such as web browsing and word processing. But, you know, a machine like this these days is not worth much. It doesn't do much. It can't load many websites anymore without it getting extremely slow. So I thought, hell, I'll think of something else. So I wiped the drive clean and I installed Microsoft DOS on it. And I was thinking I could play retro games on the machine. But then I was struck with the problem. How do you use a sound card? Or the sound, how do you use the sound card in this machine on Microsoft DOS? And the answer is it's impossible because there are no drivers being written for it. The machine or Microsoft DOS doesn't even know how to interface with it. Until I discovered a DOS extender application called HX DOS Extender. It was written by a hacker or a programmer. Um, it goes under the alias Yapet or Japet. I'll uh, leave a link in the description uh, if you want to do this yourself. But... Basically, what I have done is I have installed Microsoft DOS and I put Windows 3.1 on the machine. So it's so for some quick, you know, for quick file access or transfers, etc. And I loaded up the, or I copied over the HX DOS extender software, copied over a copy of DOSBox that we all know and love, and it runs it perfectly with sound and all. So let's just show you what happens here. Boots up pretty fast. That's the fastest I've ever seen this netbook. Normally, you're waiting at least, what, one minute or two minutes for the thing to actually load anything. But yeah, we're already in a, in a workable environment here. So, here's our icon, DOSBox. I put it inside the program manager for ease of access. I double-click on it here. And then it loads up DOSBox. I'm going to go onto my hard drive. And I will load up, for instance... A lot of Duke Nukem 3D. Oops, wrong directory. Here we go. Here's Duke Nukem 3D. Just to give you an example and to show you that the sound works. There you go. You have AdLib sound here. Now, I will say it's you know, it's a little, uh, there's a bit of a delay between, you know, when you, when you actually do something. You see what I mean? But, hey, this is a netbook that was going to do nothing. And there we go. But yeah, there's one um, example. Give you another example now. We'll load up DOSBox again. I'll tell you what, let's try Prince of Persia. Right, here we go. And here we go, we have Prince of Persia, running with AdLib sound again, all emulated from DOSBox, running within Microsoft DOS, which is quite, you know, confusing when you think about it, but it works. <laughs> here we go. We'll just do the quick, we'll do the quick death now, just to... Uh, just to finish off this video. But guys, um, I do encourage any of you guys to try this as well. If you've got an old netbook at home, give it a go. And I think that's a wrap, my friends. So, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if, you, uh, if you've managed to be successful yourself doing this. Do give it a go. Thanks, guys, and stay safe out there.